logs and metrics are randomly split across nodes and your primary, primary training metrics like loss or accuracy curves ended up on one random worker that didn't persist them. What are you even doing? Like, yeah, I don't know. Are you, are you, are you not like logging this somewhere? <laughs> like, is it, do you, may, like, may, maybe they're using a, an experiment tracker that doesn't work. Well, yeah, you're using like tensor bars for your like, <laughs> distributed <laughs> training. Like, mate, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I, their biggest nightmare is not having enough GPU time. Yes. And that is absolutely true. Just trading for a billion tokens, you think it's, it's not a lot. But looking at some of these models where they say they're training on a trillion tokens and you're just like, that's crazy. That's yeah. massive, right? Yeah. So definitely a, a big nightmare is not having that. And these are academic researchers. So of course, they're pretty limited to, to the resources they have access yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, there's only so much you can do with limited GPUs. We both saw that. And I think you can, you, you kind of have to pick your problems like the, mm. there are definitely interesting research problems that you do analyzing these networks using the open source models mm -hmm. i think that the top -likes labs are doing a decent job publishing them yeah but then scalability wise you, you have to be really like well equipped with gpus to to do some serious um, especially pre-training yeah 